This is Good Night Tiger by Timothy Knapman and Laura Hughes. It was the middle of the night, but Emily couldn't sleep because of all the bellowing and stomping and trumpeting and growling. The animals must have escaped from the zoo, she cried. But there was no one in the street except next door's cat. Emily looked under the bed, on top of the wardrobe, and through all her toys and clothes until at last she saw that the noise was coming from the animals in her wallpaper. The gorilla bellowed and the hippo stomped and the elephant trumpeted and the tiger growled until Emily shouted, go to sleep. We've tried and tried, but we can't, said the tiger. We'll soon see about that, said Emily and she grabbed a chair and climbed up into the jungly wallpaper. Have you had your bath yet? asked Emily. No, said the tiger. Well, no wonder you can't sleep, said Emily. But there wasn't a bath in the whole of the jungle. We could always use the watering hole, said the tiger. The hippo scrubbed behind his ears. The elephant used his trunk to give himself a shower. The gorilla shampooed his fur till it was soft and shiny. But when the tiger jumped in, he landed on the crocodiles. What a rumpus! Snap, snap! A bath like that won't help you get to sleep, said Emily. How about some hot chocolate? Yes, please, said the tiger. But there was no hot chocolate in the whole of the jungle. We could always use mud, said the tiger. The gorilla mixed it very carefully, and the elephant used his trunk to pour it into little cups. It smelled horrible. But when Emily and the tiger drank it, they found that it actually tasted... Completely disgusting. Blech. A drink like that won't help you go to sleep, said Emily. But what else can I do? Emily tried everything. She gave them a bear to cuddle, but the bear got cross and ran away. She started to sing them a lullaby, but the whole of the jungle joined in and it got too loud. She even tried to turn the lights off, but she couldn't find a switch anywhere. And we're still not tired, said the animals. I don't know what to do, cried Emily at last. You can't sleep, and that means I can't sleep, and I'm exhausted. Is there nothing else we can try, asked the tiger. Then Emily had a wonderful idea. We can have a bedtime story, she said. Yes, please, cried the animals. We've never heard a bedtime story. So she told them a story about some animals who escaped from a zoo, the little girl who found them, and the great adventure they had before they all went home to bed. When she was finished, the gorilla, the hippo, and the elephant were fast asleep. Emily yawned. I'm still wide awake, she said. How about a good night snuggle, said the tiger. Yes, please, said Emily. Good night, Emily. Good night, tiger. The next morning, when Emily woke up, the animals were smiling down at her from the wallpaper, all except the tiger. Emily found him snuggled up on her bed, and he was still fast asleep. And that is the end of Good Night Tiger by Timothy Knapman 
and Laura Hughes.